Auburn Methodist captures 2019 Disaster Awareness Quiz Championship. Details of this story and more in the National Report. Welcome back. With the details of the news for Friday, June 7th, I am Sherry Ann Noel. Woburn Methodist School emerged champion of the 2019 Annual Disaster Awareness Primary School Quiz, which ran from May 9th to June 6th. Over 35 schools participated in the preliminary round of competition, with 14 zones, with six moving on to the final round. The students were quizzed on topics related to hazards, climate change, and disaster preparedness. The quiz is geared towards increasing awareness of comprehensive disaster management within primary schools and to sensitize students and teachers on measures to reduce disaster risk. Disaster Management Minister Senator Dr. Winston Garway stressed the importance of involving students in the advocacy of preparedness and management. You can encourage moms and dads, your brothers and sisters at home, that we should not dispose of plastics, and any other implement that can degrade or destroy the environment and thus put us in a worse off situation to create the proliferation of breeding spaces or breeding sites for the Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. Ministry of Education Representative Otto Peer said change of culture starts with the young minds. He said engaging young people will provide the shift needed to develop a culture of preparedness. If we have to instill preparedness, if we have to uh, put mitigation play things in place, we have to start with our young people. And I'm happy to be um, one of the persons supporting in, in the representation of the Ministry of Education to ensure that our young people begin to develop a culture of disaster preparedness, develop a culture of, of really protecting our environment and ensuring that we have a place to live in the future. St. John's Anglican School placed second in the competition, followed by St. Joseph's RC in third position. The other schools in the final were St. Andrew's Anglican Primary, Hermitage Government and Dover Government School. Still with news on disaster preparedness, NADMA's clarion call to Grenadians to be prepared was resounded on Friday during the agency's open house in front of the Bruce Street Mall in St. George. The open house was held in commemoration of Disaster Awareness Week, which concluded on Friday. Many equipment were on display to build awareness on the importance and use of the items in each household in the event of a disaster. NADMA says they are ready but need the support of the public to ensure collective preparedness. Public Relations Officer Olsen Crosby gave some insight of the event and the plans that the agency has in store. The reason for this, it was aimed at increasing people's our engagement tools um, with the public. We know that we work every year around this time, especially around the hurricane season. People always pay that special attention to NADMA, even though what we do is guided by comprehensive disaster management, which means that we work year-round all hazards, preparing for all the hazards that have the potential of affecting us. Around this time of year is when we come under the spotlight. Yeah? So what we would have done was use the start of the season, June 1st, as a time when we use it as an opportunity to bombard the public with information as it relates to preparedness. She says the response from the public is commendable and they are striving to improve. So far, it has been great. Um, we will continue to do this because at the end of the day, it is not just getting the responses that you want to hear, but it's also getting the recommendations, the suggestions, the criticism. From there, we can build. This is the National Report. More news after the break. The countdown is on to Grenada's most exciting music festival. Friday, 7th June, is Saul EC Limited Rhythm and Soul Night with Kerry Hilson, the legendary Freddie Jackson, Eddie Bullen, and Jefferson Ramirez. Saturday, 8th June, is Wester Hall Rum Reggae Fest featuring Busy Signal, Maxi Priest, Kimani Marley, Tamara St. Bernard, and more. The festival climaxes on Sunday, 9th June with a George F. Huggins Soka Fusion featuring the All-Stars with Tennyson John and Blacks. 
Patrice Roberts, Was Ways, Jab King, and more. Gates open 7 p.m., showtime 9 p.m. Advanced tickets $80 Friday and Saturday, $60 on Sunday, and are available island-wide. Limited VIP and season tickets at Grenada Optical and GoToFat.com. Grenada Music Festival 2019. Get your tickets today. Sponsors, Silver Sands Grenada, Hennessy, The Antillian Group, Coca-Cola, St. George's University, Glen Elch Springwater, and Netherlands Insurance. Welcome back. The Ministry of Agriculture has placed youth in agriculture high on its agenda for 2019 as it promotes employment opportunities, markets, and money management within the agriculture sector. On Thursday, June 6, the Ministry concluded its series of youth in agriculture symposiums. Thursday's symposium was organized by the Eastern Agricultural District and was held at the Sam's Inn at Dunfermline, St. Andrew. Mina Booker, Public Relations Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, has more in this report. 39 persons, including farmers, youth in the field of agriculture, and staff of the Eastern Agriculture District participated in the forum. The Ministry of Agriculture is confident that information disseminated can augur well for participants and will aid in job efficiency of staff. Presentations were made from sponsor Arise Credit Union, the National Insurance Scheme, and Guyana and Trinidad Mutual or GTM Insurance. The presentation focused on managing finances and further underscored the importance of long-term plans in order to promote sustainable futures. The working sessions under these symposiums were a step away from the customary training in production practices put on by the Ministry, and it was in this regard that the Chief Extension Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Randolph Shears, said the management of finances by farmers is of utmost importance. Generally, on production practices, Ms. Ogilvy, but how to do, why you should do it, why you should not do it, and so on. We train our staff on, and our farmers also, on marketing, post harvest practices, and so on. You know how to keep records, and the list can go on and on. But for the last two sessions and for this session, the focus has changed in that we are going to teach you farmers and officers how to manage. Remember I said the word manage, I repeating after Mr. Lazarus, he said manage and Mr. Mark, how to manage your finances. Knowing that farming can be as sustainable as farmers would want it to be, District Supervisor for the North, Mr. Maximus Lazarus, encouraged young farmers to look towards self-investment if they are to have a viable future. He urged the participants also to assess their livelihoods and goals. Ask yourself, examine yourself, call yourself by name, check your age, ask yourself, what will life be for me by 2030, boy? Who in society has seen now that I would like to be as then? And you set your goals. But goal setting is not all. After you set your goal, you have to have a strong desire to achieve your goal. Participants in the Youth in Agriculture Symposium spoke of the lessons derived from the session. The session was interesting, the fact that um, it was concerning um, money management, right? So I, I think that is important because I think what happens to us, as, um, even as young people, is that we're concerned about making money, right? But um, what happens is that after that, we do not know exactly what takes place with our money. So I think managing it is quite important, right? Um, and so the way in which it was, it, in which it was done today, I think is very important, um, bringing in the NIS and the, the, the insurance and, and, and the, um, the credit union and so, to help us realize that there are institutions that are there to help, it, help us in those situations. I plan to implement it into my daily life because what I'm hearing today based on this forum is very interesting and very thought provoking. And it's not only a session for today, but it's a session for our lives, also for retirement and beyond. And we can also encourage people to use these sort of examples. First of all, I must say the session was very informative. It was very educational. We want to thank the, um, the facilitators because at the end of the day, I being agriculture, it was a boost, especially for the young people and an encouragement for them. You understand? Because even as of now, 
you know, um, the young farmers are interested in getting a loan, even not uh, even a savings plan, educational plans for their children. So at the end of the day, it was very, very timely. So I must say, and I want to even from the Eastern Agriculture District standpoint, we want to thank all those um, institutions that came today. The Youth in Agriculture Symposium was held under the theme Securing Your Future Through Financial Empowerment. A total of 79 farmers together with staff members from each district benefited from the series of symposiums facilitated by the Ministry of Agriculture. The Ministry of Agriculture remains committed to the success of young farmers and viability of the local agricultural sector. For the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Mina Booker. That story just ended the national report for today, Friday, June 7, 2019. Let's recap the top story. Woburn Methodist captures 2019 Disaster Awareness Quiz Championship. On behalf of everyone who made this newscast possible, I am Sharia Noel.